हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम प्रोफेसर वंदना चक्रवर्ती डायरेक्टर लाइफ लॉन्ग लर्निंग एंड एक्सटेंशन इन एस एन डी टी वीमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी मुंबई टुडे वी गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट कन्वेंशनल टीचिंग एड्स आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग द मॉड्यूल द लर्नर विल बी एबल टू स्टेट द इम्पॉर्टेंस एंड यूजेस ऑफ टीचिंग एड्स एक्सप्लेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ टीचिंग एड्स cite examples of some conventional teaching aids and describe method of their preparation in adult literacy program teachers use different types of materials that are easily available around them like twigs leaves stones as well as posters charts flash cards models globes etc to make their teaching interesting simple and methodical they use these things as teaching aids teaching aids are used to create a learning environment in the classroom and make learning process interesting and effective these aids play very important role in teaching learning process in the present module we will learn about importance of teaching aids their usefulness for teaching and uh, the adult learners and types of some conventional teaching aids available and methods of preparation of some of these how important are teaching aids for adult learners life of adult learners is usually very busy and full of struggles they don't have much time for entertainment and leisure therefore while teaching it is important to keep in mind that teaching method should be interesting and simple and it should be effective daily some innovation should be done in teaching method to attract learners attention whatever is being taught should be clear to them the learners should not sit idle they must participate in learning process effect of learning must be long term whatever they learn they should be able to remember for a long time all this can be possible with the use of appropriate teaching aids while using teaching aids learners use two of their senses hearing and visual they not only use their hearing and visual capacity but also use their hands while doing so and they become they come to know about the subject better there is a chinese saying if i hear it i forget it if i see it i remember it and if i do it i know it it means learners learn best when they take an active part in finding out things that are new to them a class in which learners take part in discussion is more interesting than a class in which they just listen to lectures a class in which learners can see for themselves what things look like and how they work is more interesting than a class in which teachers only talk about things a class in which learners not only talk and see but actually do and make and discover things for themselves is exciting when they learn by finding things out for themselves by building on experiences they already have they do not forget what they learn through discovery becomes a part of them this it is therefore evident that learning is more effective when sensory experience experiences are stimulated audio visual teaching material make learning more permanent since students use more than one sense the visual instruction makes abstract ideas more concrete to the learners and in addition studies have shown that there is significant advantage of using audio visual materials in teaching and learning how are teaching aids defined according to webster dictionary teaching aid is defined as an object such as book picture or map or device such as dvd or computer 
used by a teacher to enhance or enliven classroom instruction in audiovisual teaching aids. Webster Dictionary defines audiovisual aids as training or educational material directed at both the senses of hearing and the sense of sight. Films, recordings, photographs, etc. used in classroom instructions, library collections or the likes. The concept of audiovisual aid is not new. In 17th century, John Amos Comenius introduced pictures as teaching aids in his book Orbis Sensualium Pictus, Picture of Sensual World that was illustrated with 150 drawings of everyday life. Jean Rousseau and J. H. Pestalozzi advocated the use of visual and play material in teaching. There are various types of audiovisual materials ranging from poster, charts, flashcards, puppets, film strips, microforms, slides, projected opaque material, tape recordings and so on. In the current digital world, audiovisual aids have grown exponentially. With several multimedia such as educational DVDs, PowerPoint, television, educational series, YouTube and other online materials, the goal of teaching aid is to enhance teachers ability to present the lesson in ways that are simple, effective and easy to understand for the students. It may be said that teaching aid is material used by a teacher to supplement classroom instruction or to stimulate the interest of the students. What are the uses of teaching aids? Teaching aids are useful for both learners as well as teachers. They strengthen teachers skills in making teaching learning process more effective. They attract, the, they attract and retain the learners attention and help generate interest in learning across different levels of students. They make class more interesting and interactive. Now let us see how useful are teaching aids for teachers. The teachers have to play many roles in the class. Teaching aids help and enhance their abilities in playing those roles effectively. Let us look at the reasons why teachers use teaching aids. To make teaching learning process more effective, interesting and simple, interactive and interesting for the learners, to explain things, their point of view more effectively and efficiently, to attract and retain attention of learners, to develop lesson plans that are simple and easy to follow, to make teaching systematic and methodical to clarify the subject more easily, to explain complex issues, things, concepts easily. The literacy level of adult learners is low, but they have to learn complex subjects like legal literacy, electoral literacy, financial literacy, health environment and so on. Explanation of such complex issues and various processes become easier with the help of teaching aids. Then to provide direct experience to the learners, to stimulate learners to relieve anxiety, fears or boredom since many teaching aids are like games. Teaching aids motivate the students so that they can learn better, to easily motivate learners for discussion, to improve pace of learning of the learners, to use learner centered approach in the class, to easily create a learning environment. Teaching aids make the classroom live and active, to assess the pace and level of learning easily in interesting 
non-threatening manner, teaching aids make the classroom live and active. To assess the pace and level of learning easily in interesting and non-threatening manner, let us now look at how useful are teaching aids for learners. It helps in sustaining the interests of the learners, learners take interest and pay attention in class, it becomes easier to understand complex and difficult concepts and issues, learning process becomes easier, teaching aids can facilitate the proper understanding and discharge the act of cramming. Audiovisual aids make learning more permanent since learners use more than one senses. Retention becomes easier and learners can uh, remember things for a long duration. Things become clearer and pace of learning gets improved. Learners get an opportunity to do things on their own themselves. It helps in better understanding of the subject. It helps in improving social skills also. Games and teaching aids are usually used in groups. While doing so, they get an opportunity to understand each other and develop, develop bonding amongst themselves. It helps in peer learning. While using teaching aids in groups, learners learn from each other. Let us now see the prominent types of teaching aids. Visual aids which use the sense of vision that is actual objects, models, pictures, charts, maps, flashcards, flannel boards, bulletin boards, chalk boards, overhead projector, slides and so on. Out of these blackboard and chalk are commonest ones. Audio aids, the aids that involve the sense of hearing are called audio aids, musical instruments, radio, tape recorder and so on are in this category. Audio visual aids that is the aids which involve sense of vision as well as hearing are called audio visual aids such as the puppets, television, film, projector, film strips and so on. Now, what are the qualities of good teaching aids used for adult learners? Let us have a look at that. It should be attractive for learners, writing should be clear so learners don't have difficulty in reading, should be in bright colors, should be light and easy to transport, should be simple, easy to use and that which does not require much equipment. It should be cheap and durable also. Teaching aids prepared by teachers themselves by using low cost local material and involving learners are more effective. While making teaching aids, they may use and build on skills students already have. Use of real objects is better than drawing things etc. while teaching. While teaching numeracy, use of coins, currency, weights, measures etc. is more effective. Use of such teaching aids that call for doing as well as seeing are more effective. It provides an opportunity to the learners to handle or put together things like flashcards, literacy games etc. Teaching aids should be fascinating and fun to see and handle. Teaching aids that help learners to think through, think through things and discover solution for themselves are better than teaching aids which simply show or explain things. It means teaching aids must exercise the learner's power of observation and reasoning. Let us now look at some of the conventional teaching aids. The usual conventional teaching aids are blackboards, charts, posters, maps, 
atlas, globe, flashcards, flip charts, worksheets, models, games, storytelling, dramatization, dictionaries, encyclopedias, learning toys and abacus and so on. We will now look at some of the common teaching aids that are used for adult education. Blackboard and chalk are most important and useful teaching aids. Blackboard is very old and most used aid although it, it is usually black. Nowadays blackboards are made in different colors with different materials. But its function remains the same. It may be very effective if used properly. Chalks also come in different colors. Teachers use them to emphasize their points. Poster is a large sheet of paper containing the uh, containing a short message and a picture. Posters can usually present a message to many people at the same time and a poster is a powerful and easy way to give messages. Posters may be used to encourage, stimulate discussion. A chart is an effective way to demonstrate a concept, scheme, message in a sequence to a group of learners. Its messages are more complex than the poster, more pictures and messages than the poster and need greater attention of the learners to understand it. It is used to start a discussion, demonstrate schemes of health and agriculture, problems, legal issues and provide instruction about certain concepts or messages and so on. Flan flannel board is a display board on which pictures can be easily placed and moved. It consists of a firm surface made of a board, plywood, fiberboard, mazonite or cardboard and a large sheet of flannel or soft cloth is stretched over the frame. A stand is used to hold it up in the villages where literacy classes are held. Stand is sometimes made of three sticks tied together. Even a blanket may be folded on, a, on the back of a chair and used as a display board. It is a very handy teaching aid. Pictures for flannel board can be cut from magazines, posters, newspapers and so on or drawn by teachers and learners themselves. Glue is applied on the back of the pictures so that they may stick on the flannel board. If classes are held in uh, a particular place outdoors, a low cost billboard of mud, bamboo or sticks can be made to hold up a flannel sheet. A small roof over the board may be built to protect it from rain and bad weather. String boards are also used as display boards. It is better than flannel board as it prevents picture from falling off or blowing away in wind. Imaginative low cost string boards can be made by using locally available material and expertise. Magnet board is also used as display board. It can be prepared with a thin piece of tin plated steel. An old signboard or a flattened tin box may be used to make a magnet board. Very small pieces of magnets are glued at the back of the pictures to make them stick to the metal boards. Flashcards are also there. They are a series of cards showing a series of alphabets, words, numbers, pictures, etc. It may be used to tell stories or skills step by step. The cards are not attached together in any given order, so they may be arranged in different ways as per the requirements. It may be used to teach basic concepts of mathematics, language like recognition of alphabets, word, word making, sentence making etc. Flashcards are usually drawn on chart paper or cardboard. Flip charts are used to tell stories, clarify concepts or 
teaching skills step by step. Flip charts may be hand drawn, silk screened, silk screened or mimeographed. In flip charts, charts may be separate or joined together. It is easier to use the picture if the pictures are joined. To make it easier to read a flip chart story to a group, write the part of a story that goes with each picture on the back of, uh, of the page before or at the foot of the picture. This of course depends on how teacher is going to use the cards. Foldable flip charts and posters may also be drawn on thin plastic sheets. Pictures may be drawn on old plastic sheets with waterproof marking pens. These posters may be easily folded, carried about and washed. Games like puzzles, jigsaw puzzles, snake and ladder are fun. They are fun learning materials. Through games, active participation of learners can be ensured. Snake and ladder game can be made on various issues such as health, health and nutrition, women's rights, environment, pre and postnatal care and so on. Similarly, jigsaw puzzles and puzzles are being used as educational games. Students can help teacher to make jigsaw puzzle by pasting pictures or writing numerals on cardboards wood, cloth and so on and cutting them in to fit together in certain ways. Jigsaw puzzles may be used to teach literacy skills as well as discuss and clarify some other issues like health, financial literacy, etc. Matha Parchi, Use Your Brain is an innovative game similar to Snake and Ladder. On Snake and Ladder game, positive instructions are written on the ladder and negative instructions are written on the snake. In Mathaparji, positive and negative messages are written on folded slips of paper and not visible to the players till they reach the till they reach that position. It is prepared on a sheet of chart paper or a piece of paper. It may be used to teach literacy skills or develop awareness about certain issues. Teachers have adopted many indigenous and traditional games with some innovation for educational purposes. Many exciting discussions can result while playing such games. Puppet show is a popular form of folk media. Audience enjoy seeing the movements of the puppets and hearing them talk. Puppets are also used as teaching aids. While enjoying the puppet shows, the learners assimilate the information and messages that teacher wants to convey to them. With the help of puppets, teachers can narrate stories, say dialogues, sing songs and even initiate discussions. Simple puppets can be made with resources available at local level such as old cloth, old socks, newspaper, broken umbrella, coconut shell, bamboo and so on. Expertise and practice is required to prepare and play puppets. Therefore, its use is not very popular in literacy classes. Literacy circles or chakris as they are called in Hindi are used for many purposes like identification of letters, making two or three letter words, uh, use of matras, etc. It is made up of a cardboard or a chart paper. Napier multiplication strips are used to understand the concept of multiplication and create interest of learner in multiplication tables. With the help of these strips, learner can create tables of any denomination all by themselves by using logic behind it. Each of Napier strips is simply the multiplication table of that number. The digits in the units place and the tens place are written separately. While using Napier strips, one need not make the effort of recalling 
multiplication tables. Care is to be taken while using teaching aids. Proper use of teaching aid improves the teaching learning process, but if not used properly, it may be a waste of time, a waste of time, effort and resources. For effective use of teaching aids, teacher must take certain precautions like use of too many teaching aids at a time can result in boredom. It is important to know that all concepts may not be learnt effectively through teaching aids. Teaching aids are useful only if it is implemented effectively. It needs a lot of time of the teacher to prepare the lesson to have interactive classroom session. Teacher has to properly understand the use of particular teaching aid that she is going to use. Teacher should practice the use of the aid and prepare the lesson plan. Teacher should not leave all the teaching load on the teaching aid. Teaching aid is just to help the teacher. Improper and unplanned use of teaching aid can have negative effect on the learning outcome. At the end, I would like to reiterate that teaching aids are important tools for teaching learning process. It helps teacher to present lesson effectively and motivates the learners to take interest in learning. Learners learn better and retain the concept for long duration. For the teacher, for the adult education, such teaching aids are required which help in developing self-reliance in thinking as well as acting. Appropriate teaching aids encourage observation and improves critical and analytical thinking. Teaching aid is to enhance the abilities of the teacher. Therefore, all teaching load can't be left to the teaching aid. For effective use of teaching aid, the teacher has to plan and learn the method of its use. Improper and unplanned use of teaching aid can have negative impact on the learning outcome. Teacher should use their imagination to prepare low or no cost teaching aids from locally available material with the help of learners and with the help of the community. Thank you.